what's up guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys could tell by the title i'm going to be doing a story time about my ectopic pregnancy um so i really didn't want to tell the story because it's like something you don't really talk about but i really thought about it and just felt like i should share it with you guys um especially because it's not when I found out I had it, I didn't know about it. Like, I didn't know what it was. So, yeah, I want to share that with you guys to spread awareness of what an ectopic pregnancy is and also just to tell my story. So, so before I get into the video, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do makeup tutorials. I do challenges here and there with my boyfriend. Um, and I do story times, so. so if you do like that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Great. Right, so, um, I don't know where to start. Okay, so basically everything started from when I went on my Niagara Falls trip. So if you have seen my vlog, I did a vlog of my trip to Niagara Falls. I went with my boyfriend. We took a little vacation kind of thing. Um, it was another couple. And we went to Niagara Falls so all right so we get to Niagara Falls oh before I get into everything um, my period I did I had my period or what I thought was my period um, a week before the trip so I was like all right yes like I'm fresh off my period like I'm good so the first day we got to Niagara Falls everything was good like I wasn't feeling no ways nothing um, I was just like I was not expecting to be pregnant because I had my period like I said the week before so yeah the first night was good like nothing happened so the second day comes and um, you know when we're on a trip whatever like I'm not on my period I'm spending the night with my boyfriend obviously we're gonna do the do so obviously that went down that happened um, and then like out of nowhere I just started like feeling pain in my stomach and usually I do get like gas pains like bloating gas pain so that's what I thought it was at first but then it started getting worse like it was like so painful like excruciating like I was in so much pain and my boyfriend was there like comforting me and whatever um, but yeah I could not move I was in the bed um, the other couple so my other friends went out and they had to bring me back tea like I was so sick like I was in so much pain um, and then I had to pee I remember I had to pee so I went on the toilet and me and my boyfriend are comfortable with each other or whatever so like he was like watching me on the on the toilet so I went to go pee and we're talking whatever and I was on the toilet and then out of nowhere like I felt something drop like drop into the toilet and we like he seen it and I seen it and we both saw that like blood came out into the toilet so I was so embarrassed guys I was like like I had to tell him like can I have some privacy like I had to close the door like I was so embarrassed I'm like what is like what's going on like why am I bleeding like that's when everything ha started like that's when I knew something was wrong because I don't like I don't have irregular periods my periods come every month every 28 days and I get sore breasts one week before my period comes so like I know it was very different for me to have blood one week after I finished my period so yeah so that happened so I started bleeding for the rest of my little vacation trip which sucked but it happened so yeah we finished the trip and then I went home and whatever um, one day passed two day passed and I was still bleeding so I'm like okay this is this is not right so so those of you who know me know I want a kid like I want a baby so whenever something different happens to me I just automatically assume I'm pregnant like I've taken so many pregnant pregnancy tests and it's all negative but like whenever something out of the normal happens to me I just assume pregnancy so of course with this I'm like okay let me see if I'm pregnant and if I'm 
not i could rule that out and like say okay i'm not bleeding because i'm pregnant like you know so i went to the dollar store and i picked up a dollar store pregnancy test those are the only pregnancy tests i take because i ain't got money to waste to pay for a test for it to tell me no i'm not pregnant so yeah i went to the dollar store picked up a pregnancy test um and it was like right i went to the dollar store like an hour before i start work or whatever so i picked up the test um and as soon as i got home i i didn't even wait like i just went right into the bathroom and took the test so me just assuming that it's gonna be negative like all the other times you know i'm not like scared or whatever i was washing my hands or whatever and i look on the test like expecting it to just be one line like normal like a normal negative for me but <laughs> i remember this okay so i was washing my hands and i looked on the test and saw two lines and then it clicked to me i'm like what two what so like i couldn't believe it like i'm like is this a different kind of pregnancy test like did i read the instructions right like is this right so i had to look on the box again and read like what the two lines meant and the two lines meant pregnant like and it wasn't even like one of the lines was like soft or whatever like there were two straight hard lines like like you could see it from afar two lines on that test so yeah so i was like what and literally like i like right away i texted my boyfriend i'm like i'm pregnant like that's all i said like i'm pregnant dot texted sent so he messaged back and he's like he said what and then i'm like i'm pregnant dot, 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 dot. and he's like stop playing around and i'm like i'm not playing around um so i had to take i took a picture of the test and the box and sent it to him and he was still like why are you trying to prank like he legit thought i was trying to prank him like <laughs> so that happened so that day i went to work and i was like so happy like i'm like i'm finally pregnant like I'm gonna have a little mini me I was so happy guys um, and I told one of my good friends at work right away like I'm like listen like I'm and she's like oh my god she's like finally like we were so happy anyway so the next day like literally the next morning um, I went into a walk-in clinic just to confirm that I am pregnant so I did a urine test there and it came up positive of course so um i did explain to him that i was bleeding which i guess when you're pregnant you're not supposed to be bleeding he told me that i have to go and get an x uh ultrasound done to see if i'm miscarrying or if the pregnancy is okay and whatever because sometimes you can bleed and have a normal pregnancy but yeah he just wanted to make sure that the pregnancy like everything was okay so he told me to go and get an ultrasound he recommended me this place or whatever um, so I booked my appointment and my appointment was for the Friday of that week so two days passed the Friday came and then so my boyfriend came with me I think by then he realized like I wasn't joking like it's not a prank like he legit thought I was pranking him for all those days like I bet he was wondering like when I'm gonna just admit that I'm pranking him but <laughs> the day came for me to go to the ultrasound and he came to pick me up and we both went together so yeah this this is where everything just started getting real for me so I went to my ultrasound and I, like I did not know what to expect like I never did any of this before so I go there and the nurse or whatever tells me to take off my shirt and I had to put on one of those what do you call it the gowns one of those gown things with the you know the back is open and you can see your ass yeah one of those I had to put one of those on um, and then go into the ultrasound room so at first we did the ultrasound where you put the jelly on your the stomach and then she like moves it around she literally did that for like 15 minutes so I was like like can you not find the baby is the baby not in there is the baby not big enough like what's going on so then again she's like okay so we're gonna have to do the insertion one so they had to insert 
I don't know what these things are called, but they had to insert something up inside me to get a better view or whatever. So they, she went ahead and did that again for another 15 minutes. It's like whatever they were trying to find, they couldn't find it. Like 15 minutes is a long time. 15 minutes passed and she's like, okay, um, go ahead and change back into your clothes and meet me back here. So I went and changed and I came back and I seen her speaking to another lady, pointing at the screen. But the only thing is she was speaking to the lady, to the other lady in Indian. Like, she was Indian, so they were speaking in their language. So I didn't know what she was saying, but it looked like something was wrong. So I'm like, and they see me and they're like, okay, um, go sit down and, um, you know, I'll talk to you in a bit. So I went to go sit down and I waited literally 20 minutes um, to know my results. She came back out and she had a disc in her hand. She had a disc and another paper, and she's like, you need to go to the hospital immediately. You need to go to the emergency room. And she said it so loud, like, everyone in the waiting room, including my boyfriend, heard her say that. Like, I was so, like, I was like, what? Like, emergency for what? Like, why? She handed me the disc and the paper, and she's like, you need to go to the hospital, to the emergency right now. Like, you need to go. And then I'm like, okay. So I took the disc and the paper, and we left, and, like... We were just like, what's going on? Like, and mind you guys, that day I had two clients. I had two girls that I had to do their prom makeup that day, as well as, as well as work. So I had a lot to do. <sighs> Anyways, so the ultrasound place wasn't as wasn't far from the hospital. It was like five minutes. So we ended up driving to the hospital um, and registering and whatever. Um, guys, I hate the hospital. Like. I hate the hospital not be not only because of like just the atmosphere but like the waiting and all that stuff <sighs> anyways let me get into the whole hospital experience so we get to the hospital we register and whatever um, and then we wait we like wait for like I'll say like two hours before we see the doctor um, and the doctor comes and tells us, okay, by the looks on the paper, what the what the nurse from the ultrasound place wrote was that what I'm having, what they think I'm having is an ectopic pregnancy. So, me not being educated on what an ectopic pregnancy is, um, I didn't know what it was and he explained it to me. He's like, was it, I don't even think he explained it to me. Basically, he was saying that the pregnancy wasn't in the uterus and that it was in the tube um so yeah that's what he was saying um but he, listen i didn't get a lot of information on what this ectopic pregnancy was until later he told us that it was that and that we needed to do another ultrasound so um after we seen him he told us to go sit down and we waited literally another two three hours literally just to get an ultrasound so once two to three hours came um they finally called my name and i went to go do my ultrasound so i did exactly what i did um before which was the i don't know like the regular ultrasound and the ultrasound where they inserted up this time the lady that did it didn't take so long um so yeah we did that went back to wait for our results waited another hour or two um and then they came back to me and he said okay yeah it is you do have um you are having an ectopic pregnancy by the time he told me that it was an ectopic pregnancy that i was having um the appointments that i had for the two clients for their prom like that that time was long gone like i had to message them and be like sorry like i'm in the hospital i can't do your makeup like i felt so bad like it's their prom and I had to tell them last minute that I couldn't do their makeup. So that's honestly so, like, if you, if any of you two are watching my video, I'm so sorry. But, yeah, this is what happened. So, he told us that, he so he confirmed that it was an ectopic pregnancy. And then that a specialist was supposed to come in and talk to us about what to do next. So me there, I'm still thinking, okay, like, I'm pregnant, I have an ectopic pregnancy, like... Maybe they could fix it and I could go on with my pregnancy or whatever. 
so we wait again for the specialist literally four hours guys like it was it was bad like we waited for this this and it was one it, we couldn't talk to any other it had to be that lady like we were so, we were so annoyed like me and my boyfriend were so annoyed waiting for so long just to hear what we have to do like what to do next so yeah so four hours pass and this lady finally came apparently she had like a delivery to do because she does deliveries so she had an unexpected delivery to do which is why it took so long but either way like i hate waiting like no um so she came and she told us that that she told me that I'm having that I have an ectopic pregnancy, which is basically um, I was six weeks pregnant, but my the fetus or whatever was not in my uterus, it was in my fallopian tube. And if it continues to grow and grow, the fallopian tube can burst and I could internally bleed, which can kill me. So that's basically what she explained to me and like i was like okay can like you take the baby and put it into my uterus like what 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 do we do when this happens so she was giving she's told she gave me two options these are the two options that she gave me she gave me i could use i could either take this shot of some drug i forget what it's called hold on she told me i have two options i could either take a shot of this medication and it's called met Methotrexate, methotrexate, um, and it basically just stops the pregnancy from growing. Um, so it basically terminates the pregnancy. So I could do that, which I really did not want to do because I wanted that baby. Um, or I could get a surgery um, where they would have to terminate the terminate the pregnancy as well as remove my fallopian tubes. So. Either way, like, I was going to lose the baby, and I was, like, I was so sad, guys. Like, ask my boyfriend how many times I cried that day. Like, I was, like, so emotional. And on top of that, when you're pregnant, you are emotional. Like, your, your, um, your hormones, they're, like, they're rising, whatever. So I was so emotional. I was, like, crying and whatever. So she was basically saying that I, like, the best choice for me was to do the surgery because if I do the shot... Um, my fallopian tube is still going to be, I'm still going to have my fallopian tube, however, it's going to be damaged and it can cause another ectopic pregnancy. So she was telling me that the best bet is to do the surgery to stop the pregnancy and remove my right tube. So we ended up having to choose doing the surgery. So we chose doing the surgery and I was admitted to the hospital. Um, the nurse or the surgeon that had to do my uh, surgery was basically on on call so what so I was like placed on a list for surgery um, so I could have got the surgery done early in the morning or the next day afternoon like it depended it depended on when the surgeon was available so yeah I was admitted I was admitted to the hospital and that was that. So yeah, they gave me my little gown, I had to change out of all my clothes, they hooked me up to an IV to, I guess, keep me from feeling hungry, um, and then they gave me my own room and whatever. So yeah, I was admitted to the hospital and all I had to do was just wait for the surgeon to be ready to do my surgery. So my boyfriend was with me, of course, the whole time he was with me, um, from the morning from when he dropped me to the ultrasound. Then he dropped me to, then he came with me to the hospital, then he stayed, he, like, okay, he was gonna stay the night over with me, but they told, they told us that they couldn't, like, they weren't allowed to spend the night. He was with me all up until, like, it was legit, like, he couldn't, he couldn't stay any longer, um, which I, on, I'm honestly so thankful for him, like, I would say I waited about five hours before a surgeon was finally ready to do my surgery so I ended up doing my surgery at 1 a.m. in the morning I was so scared I'm like I'm, like this is the first time I'm ever doing surgery I've never done surgery on myself like I've never had surgery done so 
I was scared. Um, and then, what do I remember? I remember going in. It was really cold in the room. The room was really big. There was like six six surgeons in there with me. Six or more, I can't remember. Like There was like six. Um, and I remember being really cold. And I remember them strapping me. I think they were strapping me down or something like they put this I can't remember like I'm trying to I'm trying to remember for you guys but yeah I guess they gave me the anesthesia anesthesia they put it on my face and then I knocked out like I don't remember anything after that I don't I don't remember feeling anything nothing so I was like literally out of it something I do remember is waking up in so much pain it was like it was like 10 seconds of pain I was waking up and all I remember hearing was and you need to stop moving around stop moving like you you guys need to like control her like and then I remember just knocking out like I don't remember what happened after that so yeah I remember waking up again and I was fine however I did feel pain because of my incisions in my stomach but it wasn't the pain that I felt when I first woke up um, so I remember waking up and then I seen they were pushing me to back to my room and then my parents, my mom, my dad, um, my boyfriend's mom and my boyfriend were all still there after, I think my surgery took about an hour and a half. So they were still there after my surgery, which was like three o'clock in the morning. Um, I am so thankful for my boyfriend, like. Guys, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to keep myself good. I couldn't. I told myself I was not going to cry. I told myself I wasn't going to cry for this video. Anyway, so yeah. So my throat was so sore. And then on top of that, my incisions were like... Like if any way I moved, like it, was, it hurt. So I remember being in... It wasn't excruciating pain. Like where I was like like someone help me like I'm dying but like it was too much pain all at once so I really needed to rest on top of that I was hungry I was tired like I just wanted to just go to sleep so they all said their goodbyes to me and left me alone to sleep so that was it for that night that was it for that day that long ass day like <laughs> I was not expecting any of that to happen like to this day I'm still thinking like did this really all happen to me basically that's about it so those of you who did not know about what an ectopic pregnancy is that's basically it um, basically having a pregnancy out of where it's supposed to be so having a pregnancy grow in your tube is grounds for death like you could die um, also, ectopic pregnancy, this was very shocking to me. Ectopic pregnancy is, it only happens in 1% of women. 1%. And it, it just so happened that I fell under that 1% of women. So that was very, that really stood out to me. Um, it can happen, there could be reasons why an ectopic pregnancy happens, and there can also be reasons no reason at all like you could just end up having it having one so um what else i read after my surgery i read up a lot about ectopic pregnancies so yeah that's basically it i'm so proud of myself for not crying um but yeah going through all this like it just shows me that you know i just am not ready for it's not my time it's not my time for a kid um, when that time comes then I'll know for sure and everything will be much better I do still have my left tube to depend on yeah, my chances for pregnancy are less now um, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna happen so a lot of pe a lot of women do go on to have s successful pregnancies after having an ectopic pregnancy so yeah that's about it guys um i hope this spreads awareness because when i found out i did not know what an ectopic pregnancy was so i hope this spreads awareness um and yeah i just wanted to share my story 
and i hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video um please share i really want to get this out there for other women like me who maybe have had a similar experience um share like comment leave your comments you could leave your comments um and subscribe if you haven't already and that's about it i'll see you guys in my next video